Hey everyone, here's a quick video as a follow-up. I made a video a few days ago regarding putting a 500 gig SATA drive on this HP 14 inch laptop and that went fine and I installed that. But in the process of, of opening this up, I did notice that here there's an NVMe slot to put that kind of drive instead. So the great thing here is you could run both uh, an SSD here uh, or a regular hard drive, spinning hard drive, and then you can run the NVMe here. In my case, I don't need that, I just need one. So instead of this one that I just bought a few days ago, I'm gonna return this one. And what I did is I got the NVMe version. Now the reason why I did that is because cost-wise, here they are next to each other. Here's a PNY, bought these at Best Buy. PNY, uh, 500 gig SSD, and we have the NVMe here. And there's only a $4 difference between both of them. Uh, but one thing you'll notice here, based on these speeds, is that the SSD has a maximum speed that it can uh, have for reading as uh, 550 megabits per second, and the write speed is 500 megabits per second. So if you compare that to the NVMe, uh, which is much faster because it doesn't have the SATA limitations. So you have a, write, a read speed of 2000 megabits per second and a write speed of 1100 megabits per second. So for $4, you're essentially getting something that potentially is gonna be much faster. So on a slower machine, uh, this is not a super fast machine or anything. I think it's an i3. Uh, it kind of makes sense to go with this because you're basically maxing out your throughput here and you should, in theory, see a, a speed difference between this and this. At least you're not being bottlenecked by anything with uh, data going to the drive. Uh, <clears throat> so I think for the price, it, this one was, I believe, $51. And uh, this one here is $55. I think is, that's what the prices were on these. So um, definitely recommend going with this. So I did buy it. And uh, here it is if you want to look at it. Now, one drawback is that it did not come with this, this screw here that when you attach this here, I'll do this real quick. You basically, you put it here like that on an angle. And then you, once it's in, you basically tilt it down. Here, I'm doing it with one hand, so it's not gonna work too well. Let me try angling this like this for a second. So I push it in, I push it in, and now this goes down and then you put the screw here. Now, it'd be nice if the screw was included by HP. That's usually what you see like in, um, in laptops is that maybe the screw is there even though there's nothing there. That way I don't have to go out and find one. In my case, I've built machines before. Um, I had a bag of tiny screws from a previous motherboard that I installed. So I just grabbed it from, the, from my bag that I had and I'm gonna install this here. Uh, so that'll work perfectly fine. But uh, yes, this is an option for this laptop and doing this instead. So all you do is, and I'll try to do it right now with one hand and see if it works. So here's the screw. Let's put it right here. If we can, oops, not a good idea to do this with one hand, but let's see, let's grab the screw here. Put it right there. Okay, there we go. And then now I'm going to, oh, let's try it again. Try it one more time. I know this is probably off focus because I'm holding it with one hand. I'm too close to the screen here. There we go. Let's try it again. Okay, so there we go. So now that I have it on there, you just basically screw it in. And that's it, super simple. So now I'm gonna take this one out, just use this one, and then go through the install process. But just a quick tip, uh, on this machine, you can go with that option. And for the price difference, I think it's totally worth it. All right, hope you like these videos. Definitely like and subscribe if you like this content. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.